Hello me Vorkis fam! Welcome to my channel, my name is Mia and this is me Vorkis. I'm a UI UX designer and I try to make videos that would make your life hella easier. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the most useful plugins in Figma that I use on a daily basis. There's gonna be five plugins and all of them are in different categories that you could use in your daily design life and it would make your process a lot faster and help you achieve your goals better, let's say. Without further ado, let's jump on there and just talk about these plugins and walk through them. Let's go! Okay guys, we're in Figma right now and I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of all of these different plugins that I use and just show you how it works. The first plugin that I really love is Ruri Splines. So as you can see, with Ruri Splines, you can create high quality splines, shapes, spots, anything with adding the colors that you want and just making the best of it. So you can easily add colors here, you can even delete just have one color or two color and I think this is brilliant. I think it looks good. You can easily export it and just paste it okay that was a problem and paste it on your design and it will look something like this it's it's brilliant it's beautiful and i really love this plugin for the second plugin we're gonna talk about free translator yes i work on a lot of projects that are like multi-language and like different people from different countries that are going to use it so i have to sometimes give the developer different sample pages with other languages so for that i don't want to go ahead and translate everything by hand i use this plugin called free translator as you can see i already translated it to spanish i'm just gonna turn it back to english and you just select the platform and you click on translate and you just have to wait a couple of seconds and ta-da, higher design. Okay, that wasn't this, it was elevate. Anyways, it's good. You just have to change some stuff working through it. And then the next plugin is called Progress Bar Builder. This is actually a good plugin if you're in a rush and you don't wanna do uh, progress bars by hand. You can do either divided or uh, full. I really love this. I just have to create this here and then you can change the color or shape later, but it's, it's fast and I love it because I'm super lazy. The fourth plugin that I'm gonna talk about is contrast. Contrast is a really good plugin. You can easily use it to check the contrast of your work. There are other plugins that you could use like Stark, but I really love this one because it's a lot easier to use. You can scan your work uh, like click on a frame and just scan it as you can see like some of the designs here are have low content okay this is because they're on each other but yeah i think this is a good platform you can easily select two different colors it's going to show you if it works and if it doesn't and for example i choose black on white it obviously works so this is good again and for the last plugin which is my favorite plugin we're gonna use html to design this plugin is actually amazing html to design you can use it for uh, taking a link from web any website that you like and just import it to your designs the good thing about html to design is that you can easily go to a private page like a page in a dashboard you have signed in you can download that page data with html to designs extension in chrome and then just paste that file in html to design plugin in figma and so that you can have a basically private page so as you can see it got the design perfectly i have all these stickers now i have all the design even they brought the gif from the website and i think it's just brilliant and i love it yeah that's pretty much it for today it was a bit short we talked about five plugins that would make your life easier and a lot faster these are my favorites and a lot of them are new if you haven't watched my videos from before there's a video for i think last year about other plugins there are for last year but again these are more new and then i have another video for a really special plugin in figma called lottie files you can go ahead and check it out you can create animations with that and i guess that's it which one was your favorite did you know any of them did you use any of them let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button i'm gonna see you in the next video and yeah bye